The casting process for the 1973 movie Tom Sawyer involved meticulous auditions, chemistry tests, and pivotal moments that determined the selection of each key actor. As the casting directors scoured for talent, young actors were brought in to audition for the iconic roles. During these auditions, the directors evaluated how well the actors embodied the essence of the characters from the classic story. Chemistry tests were also conducted to ensure that the dynamics between the actors fit the vision for the film. Pivotal moments arose when certain actors demonstrated a deep understanding of their characters or displayed exceptional talent that aligned perfectly with the roles they were vying for. These defining moments ultimately shaped the final cast of the movie, bringing together a group of actors who would go on to breathe life into this timeless story. The director of the 1973 movie, Tom Sawyer, approached the film with a vision to capture the essence of Mark Twain's classic tale. Drawing on creative influences from the original novel, the director aimed to bring the story to life authentically on screen. Their style focused on blending nostalgia with a sense of adventure, creating a heartwarming and charming atmosphere throughout the movie. To collaborate with the cast and crew, the director emphasized teamwork, communication, and a shared dedication to realizing the vision of Tom Sawyer's world. By working closely together, they were able to ensure that every aspect of the film, from the performances to the set design, reflected the director's vision faithfully. This collaborative effort contributed to the film's success in immersing audiences in the beloved story of Tom Sawyer and his adventures. In 1973, an iconic film hit the screens, showcasing the adventures of Tom Sawyer, full of funny, shocking, and sad moments. This classic movie has stood the test of time in the entertainment industry. One enduring quality that makes it a symbol of the industry is its timeless theme of friendship, mischief, and growing up. The charming and relatable characters such as Tom and Huck Finn capture the hearts of audiences young and old, making it a beloved favorite for generations. Its nostalgic portrayal of childhood escapades and life lessons learned along the way resonates with viewers, keeping them coming back for more. During the production of the 1973 movie, Tom Sawyer, the set design featured detailed recreations of the Mississippi River town, setting from Mark Twain's classic novel. Filming took place in various locations, including St. Charles, Missouri, which provided an authentic backdrop for the story. Logistical challenges arose from coordinating large-scale outdoor scenes and capturing the essence of a bygone era. Innovative techniques such as matte paintings were used to expand the visual scope of the scenes, while special effects like miniatures added depth to the production. The filmmakers also utilized period-appropriate costumes and props to enhance the authenticity of the film. Overall, the production of the movie Tom Sawyer aimed to bring the beloved tale to life with a mix of creativity and technical skill. Set in a quaint town alongside the Mississippi River, the movie captures the adventurous spirit of childhood. The story revolves around a young boy named Tom Sawyer, who, along with his friends, embarks on various mischievous escapades. The cinematography beautifully showcases the idyllic setting, immersing viewers in a nostalgic journey reminiscent of simpler times. The characters are relatable and endearing, each adding a unique charm to the narrative. Through a series of events, Tom and his friends navigate issues of friendship, loyalty, and growing up, making for a heartwarming tale that resonates with audiences of all ages. The film's timeless themes of exploration, camaraderie, and self-discovery continue to captivate viewers, highlighting the enduring appeal of classic storytelling. With its blend of humor, drama, and poignant moments, the movie remains a beloved classic that celebrates the joys and challenges of youth. Whether you're revisiting it or discovering it for the first time, this cinematic gem is sure to leave a lasting impression. The creation of the film's score and soundtrack for the 1973 movie, Tom Sawyer, was a crucial element in enhancing the narrative and emotional tone of the story. Composers and musicians worked diligently to craft music that would complement the adventures and escapades of the characters. The lively and spirited melodies reflected the playful and mischievous nature of Tom and his friends adding depth 
and atmosphere to the scenes. By blending traditional folk tunes with original compositions, the soundtrack captured the essence of the time period and setting, immersing viewers in the world of the film. Musicians paid close attention to timing and dynamics ensuring that the music heightened the emotional impact of key moments from thrilling adventures to tender friendships. Their collaboration brought to life the charm and nostalgia of this classic movie, leaving a lasting impression on audiences. The result was a musical experience that resonated with the heartwarming and adventurous spirit of Tom Sawyer. In 1973, the Sherman brothers earned the distinction of being the sole Americans to clinch first prize at the Moscow Film Festival for Tom Sawyer. They were also the creators of the film's screenplay. Celeste Holmes stands as one of 23 Academy Award-winning actresses born in New York. Among them are notable names like Anne Bancroft and Susan Sarandon. The quest for the lead in this classic led to 4,000 auditions before Johnny Whitaker nabbed the role. Despite his initial reluctance toward the part, Whitaker's previous work in Disney's Napoleon and Samantha and the TV series Family Affair gave him an advantage. In a surprising turn, he outshined thousands of boys vying for the role. Whitaker confessed to Oprah Winfrey that he originally preferred summer camp over filming. One iconic scene in the 1973 movie, Tom Sawyer is when Tom and Huckleberry Finn are exploring the spooky graveyard at night. The direction of this scene creates a sense of mystery and suspense, drawing the audience into the eerie atmosphere. The performances of the actors are captivating as they convey fear and bravery in the face of the unknown. The cinematography enhances the scene with shadowy lighting and haunting visuals, intensifying the audience's emotion. Filmmakers and actors have noted that this scene stands out for its ability to evoke a wide range of feelings in viewers, from excitement to fear to ultimately relief. The impact of this moment on the audience is significant, as it showcases the adventurous spirit of the characters and cements their bond in the face of danger. Another standout scene is when Tom convinces his friends to help him whitewash Aunt Polly's fence. The direction in this scene highlights Tom's cleverness and charisma as he persuades his friends to do his chores for him. The actors deliver strong performances that capture the humor and charm of the situation, engaging the audience with their playful interactions. The cinematography captures the joy and camaraderie among the characters, creating a light-hearted and fun atmosphere that resonates with viewers. Filmmakers and actors have expressed how this scene embodies the theme of friendship and the power of persuasion, leaving a lasting impression on the audience. The steam-powered stern wheeler known as the Julia Bell Swain Hales from La Crosse, Wisconsin, USA, boasting a rich history dating back to its construction in 1971 by Captain Dennis Strone. This vessel, the final creation of Dubuque Boat and Boiler Works, features steam engines originally crafted in 1915 by the Gillette and Eaton Company. Notably, these engines, which once propelled the central wheel ferry boat city of Baton Rouge, have traversed well over a million miles. In the film, Julia Bell stars as the beloved River Queen, a role it reprised in the sequel Huckleberry Finn. Jodie Foster and Johnny Whitaker reunite in this classic following their collaboration in Napoleon. And Samantha Whitaker, alongside the young Foster, shares the screen once more now is Tom Sawyer's companion, Becky Thatcher. Post-film, he embarked on national tours promoting the Tom Sawyer line of boys' clothing, a testament to his on-screen legacy. Subsequently, the same company introduced a clothing brand under the moniker Johnny Whitaker. The movie Tom Sawyer from 1973 had a significant cultural and social impact. It resonated with audiences by bringing Mark Twain's classic story to life on screen, captivating viewers with its nostalgic portrayal of childhood adventure. The film influenced pop culture by adding to the enduring legacy of Tom Sawyer and Huckleberry Finn, two beloved literary characters. Moreover, it contributed to discussions on themes such as friendship, freedom, and the joys of youth, sparking conversations about the universal experiences of growing up. Overall, Tom Sawyer remains a timeless film that continues to enchant audiences 
and remind us of the enduring power of storytelling. Mark Twain, the author of Tom Sawyer, based the characters on real people he knew in Hannibal Moe. Huck was inspired by a boy named Tom Blankenship, while Becky was based on a girl named Laura Hawkins. The character Injun Joe was influenced by a local man named Joe Douglas. Actor Johnny Whitaker, who starred in the movie, initially did not want to be part of the film, as he preferred going to summer camp. However, his parents insisted, so he agreed to shoot the movie for a few weeks before heading to camp. Despite the movie's success, Whitaker regrets missing out on a full summer at camp. His experience shooting the film, including being picked up by a helicopter after filming and flown to camp, left a lasting impact on him. The film received praise, did well at the box office, and even earned Oscar nominations, along with a sequel being produced. The 1973 movie Tom Sawyer received positive critical reception upon its release. Critics praised the film for its faithful adaptation of Mark Twain's classic novel and its portrayal of the iconic characters. Audiences resonated with the heartwarming coming-of-age story and the nostalgic depiction of American life in the 19th century. The film's nostalgic charm and timeless themes struck a chord with viewers of all ages, making it a beloved classic. In terms of awards and nominations, Tom Sawyer was recognized for its excellence. The film received several nominations and won awards for its performances, screenplay, and direction. These accolades signify the talent and dedication of the cast and crew involved in bringing this classic story to life on the big screen. Winning awards not only honors their hard work and creativity, but also elevates their careers in the competitive world of filmmaking. The critical acclaim and awards garnered by Tom Sawyer further solidify its place in cinematic history and continue to attract new audiences to experience the magic of this timeless tale. The positive reception and accolades serve as a testament to the enduring popularity and influence of this beloved adaptation of Mark Twain's literary masterpiece. In 1973, a TV movie was directed by James Nielsen, known for its debut at Radio City Music Hall with advanced ticket sales of 693,000. Johnny Whitaker made headlines for giving Jodie Foster her first on-screen kiss in the same production. This path-breaking moment added significant cultural value to the film, sparking much interest and discussion surrounding these young actors' performances. The cinematic experience undoubtedly left a lasting impact on audiences during that time, making it a memorable moment in the history of film. During the filming of the 1973 movie Tom Sawyer, the young actors, particularly Jonathan Taylor Thomas, who played Tom Sawyer, developed a strong bond on set. One anecdote recalls how they would often sneak away during breaks to explore the nearby woods, mirroring the adventures of Tom and Huck in the film. The crew faced challenges when shooting the iconic cave scene due to limited space and lighting issues, but their creativity ultimately led to a visually stunning sequence. Despite the hard work, the camaraderie between the cast and crew made the filming process enjoyable. One memorable moment involved a prank played on the director, where the actors hid fake snakes on set, causing quite a commotion. These behind-the-scenes stories offer a glimpse into the fun and dedication that went into creating this classic adaptation. Celeste Holm made her return to the screen in this classic, marking her first film after a six-year hiatus. Despite promotional images depicting Tom, Huck, and Becky together, Huck and Becky do not interact in the film or in Huckleberry Finn. Interestingly, Huck mistakenly refers to Becky as Bessie Thatcher in the book. Additionally, in Warren Oates' biography, it's revealed that his singing was replaced by a professional singer for the movie soundtrack. Oates was reportedly dissatisfied with this decision. The 1973 movie Tom Sawyer has left a significant mark on film history, influencing future filmmaking in various ways. Its portrayal of classic American literature resonated with audiences, showcasing the timeless appeal of Mark Twain's story. This classic film inspired a resurgence of interest in adaptations of literary works, highlighting the power of storytelling in cinema. Subsequent works drew inspiration from Tom Sawyer's narrative style and character development, further solidifying its lasting legacy in the world of film. As a result, 
This movie continues to be a touchstone for filmmakers exploring the intersection of literature and cinema, showcasing the enduring impact of Tom Sawyer on the art of storytelling in movies. Reader's Digest produced the film that features two Oscar winners, Celeste Holm and Jodie Foster. Richard M. Sherman and Robert B. Sherman launched the musical adaptation of the Mark Twain classic in 1968, before Johnny Whitaker snagged the lead role. Around 4,000 boys auditioned for it. Historian Carter Rivard highlighted Mark Twain's prejudice toward Native Americans as influencing the character Injun Joe in this classic. The previous version of this classic, the 1968 Hanna-Barbera series The New Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, featured Tom, Becky, Huck, and Injun Joe battling mythical creatures in a fantasy setting every week, pioneering action live-action TV shows. It aired on NBC during prime time from 1968 to 1969. The town setting mentioned in the book is St. Petersburg, but in the movie, it's portrayed as Hannibal, Missouri. This classic film features Johnny Whitaker, whose six siblings also appeared in various roles. The Adventures of Tom Sawyer is part of a series that includes Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, Tom Sawyer Abroad, and Tom Sawyer Detective. Additionally, there were two unfinished books, Huck Finn and Tom Sawyer, and The Indians, completed by Lee Nelson, and The Mysterious Stranger, left unpublished. Johnny Whitaker, a Mormon, faced a challenge due to tobacco restrictions while filming a scene where Tom and Huck smoked a pipe. To circumvent this issue, the pipe was filled with ground-up cabbage leaves. Jeff East, also known for playing the teenage version of Superman in 1978, alongside Christopher Reeve, found fame in this role. Warren Oates, appearing in this classic, experienced his first musical since his time at Kentucky University. In 2010, John Williams composed the last G-rated film by the MPA in the book. A storyline ignored by the movie involves Tom already being friends with Jeff Thatcher whose uncle was a judge. Reader's Digest, in collaboration with United Artists, took over the production after Warner Brothers initially abandoned the project, intending to create family-friendly films. This classic was Reader's Digest's initial venture into filmmaking. During the filming of this classic, Aunt Polly's house, owned by Arrow Rock resident Paige Williams, suffered from sagging floors due to the equipment weight. To manage this, the film company reinforced the floors and compensated Paige with a minor role listed as saloon girl. Tragically, the house burned down shortly after, potentially linked to the weakened floors. Johnny Whitaker was already a star in the Sid and Marty Croft Saturday morning TV show when the film premiered. Jeff East and Lucille Benson were the only actors to feature in both this movie and its sequel Huckleberry Finn. Have you watched the 1973 movie Tom Sawyer? Share your personal experiences and memories of this classic film. How did it influence your perspective on cinema? Engage with us by liking, sharing, and subscribing for more cinematic explorations. Your thoughts are valuable to us. Let's dive into the world of storytelling.